Uh, good evening, uh, again. Uh, you're probably not following these sequentially, and if you are, well, good evening again. Uh, just starting to snow here. Uh, this evening, uh, I'm going to do a gallbladder flush. Uh, if you've never done one, uh, I don't, <laughs> I, I can't say I recommend them, but uh, if you do have gallbladder issues uh, sometimes and you want to keep your gallbladder. Let's be clear about that. I think if you have looked at my health and uh, videos, I had a uh, gallbladder attack about five years ago. The pain is excruciating. I didn't know what was going on. I went to the hospital. The doctor wanted to remove it and I refused. Uh, had an attack a year later. Uh, went to a colleague of mine. They tested. There were some parasites in the gallbladder as well. So once, I'd like to say once every year, but I don't think I'm that diligent because it's, uh, you have to prepare a day in advance getting a lot of apples into you, which the theory is that it softens up the gallbladders, the gallstones. And then you get to drink Epsom salts. If you've never drank Epsom salts, boy, that's a real um, sensation. <laughs> uh, to relax everything in there. And then you drink a cup, I think it is, I know that's distressing, of a high-grade olive oil. And uh, you're supposed to mix it with some sort of citrus juice, which I do, and it tastes like drinking uh, salad sauce, but when you drink that much of it, the, the body doesn't like it, and uh, it takes everything you can do to get it down. They suggest drinking it through a straw sometimes, but that, I, I've never been able to do that. It just seems to make it, it worse. But, uh, <clears throat> Uh, like I said, I've done it a few times. Uh, the gallbladder has a lot of functions in the body. It's a little storage sack. They call it uh, a vestigial organ, uh, something from ancient days we, which we don't actually need. Well, if you don't know how to fix it, you're going to take it out and tell people, well, you don't need that. You can live without it. Uh, but your liver has to work quite a bit harder after uh, having the gallbladder removed. Uh, when I was in the hospital, I said to the doctor, you know, my grandma had gallbladder attacks, and she lived to be 102, and he said, and the gallbladder didn't kill her. No, no, she died of natural causes, oddly enough, not having a gallbladder attack. Uh, so I will keep you posted, but there are things that by now, if you follow me, you know that I believe. I believe that the body is capable of healing anything that it can create. Uh, and I have not evolved to the area where I can heal it magically. So I do these things. Uh, there's a couple of books out there. If if you're going to consider doing it, uh, you've got to pay attention. You've got to make sure that you take a lot of apples. I'm not recommending it. Again, I do it because when I do, uh, the next day there's a fair amount of things that I don't recognize in the toilet. And some of them may be fat globules, but and I haven't collected them. They said, you know, if you want to count them, you know, get a strainer. But I'm not one for putting a strainer in a in the toilet and dropping a bunch of stuff into it and then washing it off and counting through it. Sorry, it's just not what I do. Uh, <clears throat> but the body can heal itself uh, from most things. Uh, people go, what about a car wreck? Well, I'm not talking about a car wreck. I'm talking about your gallbladder. I'm talking about my son's knee uh, and him healing his own knee. Uh, but uh, just keeping you posted, I know you're riveted and you can't live without this little bit of information. <laughs> www.micpeakperformance.com